So for question number one, my favorite communication channel or which one do I prefer to use and is more effective? I like to use the verbal or spoken word. And for me that you can communicate your message effectively and you can also control things like your tone or the way you present the message to help that person understand um, the message that you're trying to get across. You know, it could, um, there could be some cases where um, the message could come off kind of strong, but you could use your facial expressions, your body language to kind of lighten the mood. Um, and I also like to use mediated communication or just kind of like a mixture of um, technology and the spoken word. Um, for example, if there was a meeting that I held with employees, um, you know, you could present the information there in a good way, in a good tone, and then just add an email to follow up on the meeting just to give them a quick briefing of what was discussed. Um, question number two, an example where um, a message was distorted by the receiver. I did have an experience where um, I had to discipline an employee. Uh, my mistake was I didn't speak with them verbally first. Instead, I sent an email and that kind of bothered them again. And I guess what had happened was that employee explained to me that they didn't appreciate my tone, which is kind of difficult to to um a tone is kind of difficult to um, interpret over an email so um you know for me what i should have done was brought it to the person's attention you know in person first and then if i needed to email any kind of supporting documents i could have um so that was a mistake on my part um a situation where i tried to or someone tried to talk with me at a bad time or in an awkward place. Um, many times at work, I could be dealing with um, a guest issue or something just really time sensitive. And some employees will come and ask for my help. And a lot of times they don't understand or know what exactly I'm working on. They just see me on a computer and just assume that I'm free. And I think sometimes that, um, that causes me to give them short answers like, hey, don't worry about it, I'll take care of it. And it could, I think it does give them the wrong message sometimes. Like they might think that I don't care or I'm not worried about their problem. But um, uh, for me, it's just what happens is my mind is focused on something and I'm not 100% listening to that person, which is something I got to work on. And then what factors regularly influence my listening effectiveness, question number four, um, it all depends where my mind is at for me. So if I am doing homework, for example, for school and one of my children is trying to talk to me about something, you know, something, something very small, whatever it may be, um, my attention a lot of times is on the task at hand, what I'm doing. Um, it's hard for me to stop and completely tune everything out, like my homework, for example, and then just 100% listen to my kids for whatever they need. Um, so that is probably the biggest factor for me. It's whatever the task is at hand, I try to give it, you know, all of my thought, all of my energy. And it's just hard for me to flip that switch sometimes and shut it all off and completely listen to my kids and understand what they need.